Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial, I am going to talk about middleware and how you can use middleware in your Laravel project. So, we use middleware in order to protect a certain base. For example, we have two users, one is regular user and another one is admin. And we have a base where we only on the admin to have access. So, in that case, we we'll use middleware. So, using middleware, we can stop regular user to get access to the admin base. We can also use middleware for like age as well. If the user age is below 18, then we will not let that user have access to that certain base. We can also use middleware like this as well. So right now, let me just show you how we can use middleware in our Laravel project. So here, uh, you can see this is a Laravel project and we have login and register option over here. So I have uh, made this login and register option using JStream. And here I have a users table and in this user table we have two email address over here and here you can see name email and user type and here you can see uh, the user type we have user and admin user type so right now what we will do is that we will create a page in our Laravel project and we will only let the admin to have access to that page when they are logged in as a admin so the user or have access to that base okay when they are logged in as user so in order to do that first of all let's go and create a page first so let me just go to my code and we'll go to resource then views and inside views let's say we'll just create a blade file over here in this view so we'll just right click on the view then click new file and let's say the file name will be admin page.blade.php control s then save so here we'll just write simple html and in the body we are going to say only admin is allowed to this page so right now let's just set this and we're going to create a route for this page so let's go to our routes then web.php and here let me go down and let's say the route will be get and the route name will be let's say admin page we'll give a comma we'll give to third bracket and let's go and mention the boom controller name we'll mention the class name and to single quotation let's say the function name will be page so let's save this and right now let's go to our boom controller and create this page so for it we'll go to app HTTP controller and then here you can see home controller so from here we will just return the simple view so here we are going to set public function page to first bracket then to second bracket so we will just sell one here return view and our view is uh, this one here you can see admin base.blade.php you can see this one so we are just going to sell one here admin page so right now if we just save this and there you can see our url is admin page right so we'll just go to our browser and if we just write over here slash admin page and press enter there you can see only admin is allowed to this page so we are about to see this because we haven't added any middleware in our laravel project so right now let's go and create a middleware for our laravel project so in order to create middleware we need to go to our command prompt which is in the project directory and we're going to show it here and in order to create the middleware we need to show it here php artisan main clone middleware and we need to give our middleware a name and the middleware name we normally give a uppercase so let's say the middleware name will be admin then if we now press enter there you can see a middleware is created so where is the file located if we just go to add http middleware there you will find admin.ps so let's go to our code and then here if we go to app then http inside http there you can see we have a middleware folder and in middleware we have admin.php so here first of all how to check is that if the user is logged in and the user type value is user or admin so over here in admin.bsc we need to check that 
so in order to change if the user is logged in we need to show over here use illuminate backslash support backslash packets backslash it will be off so right now using this we will be able to check whether a user is logged in so right now in this public function handle we need to write a condition so that a condition will be we need to show over here a if condition we we'll show over here if then we we'll mention auth double clone user here you can see user this is our user table name and we are using auth over here in order to check if a user is logged in or not then we will give this arrow sign we we'll show over here user type is equal equal is it admin if the user type is admin then we are going to say ok the request is fine and if the user type is not admin we are going to show here abort abort okay. 40 or not it means it will show us a message that unauthorized access and return next request it means ok the request is fine go ahead if the user type is admin and we need to do one more thing and that is we need to register this admin.php so in order to do that we need to go to our here we can see bootstrap folder and in the bootstrap folder we have app.php so here you can see middleware with middleware function middleware dollar middleware here we need to write two line of code in order to add this admin middleware so here we are going to say dollar middleware this arrow sign alias to first bracket to third bracket like this and after it let me just write it like this and here we are going to mention a variable you can name it anything we can say our here admin or admin type anything that's fine so we'll go with admin then this equal is greater than sign then we'll give this backslash then we we'll saw here app backslash http backslash middle or backslash admin we'll give them double clone with we'll our here class then end it with a comma so here we are just basically mentioning the add http middle or and then this admin dot php over here okay so we can just save this it means we created our admin middle or so right now what we need to do is that we need to add this middleware with our admin base here you can see route get admin base so for this we are going to add this middleware and in order to add that middleware what we need to do is that we need to give this arrow sign then we need to cover here middleware to first bracket to single quotation and here you can see we write over here admin equal to admin equal to this middleware so we need to write this admin or whatever your variable is over here to over here so let's set this so here in the admin.php we mention over here if the user type is admin only a certain request will be accepted and we mention over here the middleware admin for admin base so right now let me just refresh over here then let me just log in as a admin first so right now we'll give our admin username over here then we'll give the admin password over here then click login and there you can see currently we are in the admin home and we have the logout option so right now here you can see for the admin the user type is admin so right now we should have access to our admin base right so let me just copy this and if we just show over here instead of slash home if we just show over here slash admin base and press enter there you can see only admin is allowed to this space so the login user had access to this space so right now let me just log out from here and let me just log in as a user and let's see if a user can have access to that space when they are logged in as a user so right now over here we'll give the user email then the user password here click login and there you can see currently a user is logged in and over here you can see for user that user type is user so right now 
since the user is logged in so right now if we just try to go to the admin page it should uh, show us this abroad 401 message it means unauthorized because the user type is admin over here so right now if we just go back then if we just say over here slash admin page and then press enter there you can see it showing us a message for on unauthorized so there you can see unauthorized access so each from this unauthorized access you can also send the user to a specific view for example if we just over here return redirect and if you want to send the user to the home page so we'll just over here in the slash it means it will uh, send the user to the root view so right now if we just save it and if a user is logged in over here and if we now try to go to the admin base it will send us to the root view so right now let me just press over here enter there you can see it took us to the root view so right now let me just go back and uh, and from here i'll just log out and we'll check if a logout user can have access to the and being based so there you can see currently i'm logged out and if i just say over here slash admin paste then press enter it will give us a error let me just show you there you can see attempt to read property user type on null so the thing is uh, let me just go back to the admin.php so here you can see all user type and here we mention our with mirror admin so the thing is whenever we are trying to go to the admin page it will check the logged in user user type but since no user is logged in so it will give us an error so in order to solve that issue we just need to say over here okay let me just remove this from here like this we just need to give to third bracket over here then to single condition we need to over here or then comma to single condition then admin like this after that what it will do is that whenever we are calling this url it will check if there is any logged in user and if there is no logged in user it will send the user to the login page so right now if i now oh, let me just go back over here and if i just show on here slash admin page then press enter there you can see it send us to the login page so this is how you can use middleware in your laravel project and if you want to know how to create multiple authentication in laravel JSTEM or laravel place then you can check out the video on the screen thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials